If you'd like to see how I transform these wine bottles with some glitter and rhinestones to look like this, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be showing you how to glitter some wine bottles. Um, these two are wine bottles. This is Carlo Rossi and this is Pacific Fruit Vineyards Sweet Peach and this one is Sangria. Um, I purchased this one from the grocery store. This one came from the grocery store as well. And this was given to me uh, by someone um, who drinks so I can make something with it. I'm going to glitter this bottle today and it's empty. This is Jose Cuevo. I have some future plans for this. So I'm gonna get the glittering out the way today and then in a future video, you'll see what I'll be doing and making with this bottle. So I am going to be using some Mod Podge glue to apply the glitter. I have my little sponge brush, a lid to pour my Mod Podge glue in. Then I'll be using some purple glitter, red glitter, and also this holographic silver and gold chunky glitter. Um, then you'll need like some type of fluffy brush just to brush off excess glitter that you don't want to have on the bottle to get things out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started and once I'm ready to seal the glitter, I'll show you then what I'm going to use. So I'm spreading out the Mod Podge with my two inch sponge brush and I'm taking my time just to show you how I can make my lines um, pretty straight without having to mask off the label. Um, you're welcome to mask off the label if that makes you feel more comfortable. But if you do wipe off the glitter or the glue uh, before it gets hard, it's not that hard to remove if you make a mistake. Now it's very important to make sure that the glitter is nice and smooth so that your glitter is nice and smooth uh, once you cover it up on the bottle. Now I'm just going to take this purple glitter and go ahead and pour it all over the areas where I have the glue. Just so I make sure that all the glue is covered because if I don't cover it, it will get rubbery and I'll have to wipe it off. This purple glitter is very pretty and I did get this um, from Michael's Craft Store. Now I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and just dust away the excess glitter that's not going to stay. So that way I can see where I need to apply more glitter um, and more glue as well. Sometimes I like to go in sections um, and I am covering up the label, that's optional. You can leave the label on the back if you want to. I mean, some of you even know how to make customized labels. I don't do it, I don't care to do that. I'm not sure how, to, how that goes. But I am going to cover up the back of the label on these bottles. This coat of glitter. This is like, not a chunky glitter, but it's not a fine glitter either. Um, so it actually has a very, very good coverage. I don't see any spaces. So it's completely up to your discretion. You can do one coat if you'd like to. I always, for the most part, do two coats unless I'm doing a chunky, very chunky glitter. Only because sometimes there's some little spaces that look like it's just you can kind of still see through the bottle or this area right here you can still see through you probably can't tell but you can still kind of see through to the label and to avoid that you can always paint the bottle the same color as the glitter that you're using that way you really should only have to do uh, one coat with this type of glitter so I'm just gonna lightly gently dust off the glitter that's not really on the glue and I'm gonna let this dry for about a good 20, 30 minutes. And I'm gonna move on to the next bottle. Then I'll see what it's looking like and then I could just go ahead and um, seal it. 
but we'll see. I don't mask off the labels, you're welcome to do so. I just don't want. Again, I am using Mod Podge glue and I'm doing the same thing I did with the first bottle, adding on plenty of the glue and making sure that it's nice and smooth when I add it on. Also, again, I am covering up the back label. Um, you can keep the back label if you feel like it's important or necessary. Sometimes I do, but I think mainly I've just been covering it up. I'd rather see the glitter instead. All these glitters are so pretty um, and I don't know if you could tell the difference this is an extra fine glitter the other one is just I guess a regular glitter and between the purple and the red which one do you like better so far um, it's really hard to decide they're both so pretty This red glitter has such a great coverage. I just really like how it's just covering up everything. It barely looks like it'll need a second cover of glitter, but I'm going to put it on there anyway, because I always do. First coat of glitter on the second bottle. Let this dry for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna move on to my second, my third bottle. Okay, so now I'm starting on the bottle of Jose Cuevo. And this bottle, I'm also going to cover up the back label. With this bottle, I decided to use a smaller, I think this is a one inch um, sponge brush because I just had to get in between those smaller areas on the front. Now check out this glitter right here. This is a chunky glitter. Just to give you an idea what the difference is. Do you see how full and thick that is? And I feel like because it's chunkier, it just has like a sharper, more beautiful, vibrant glow to it. Like it is so sparkly. I just really, really, really love this color. I love the consistency of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up as well. How beautiful this chunky holographic gold and silver glitter is and it's so nice and full of a coverage I really don't see a need to put two um, coats on I just don't see the need for it and again it's an empty bottle which made it easier to glitter it because it's not heavy when I'm holding those other bottles they're so heavy but yes, I have future plans for this. I just wanted to get the glittering out the way. I'm excited to show you guys what my plans are for this bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Check on the other two bottles and see where they are with the drying um, and coat those with the second layer. I'll let this dry a little bit and then I'll go ahead and um, seal this one. But this is so pretty. Okay, so this is my second layer of glue, so I can add on the second layer of glitter, okay? Now, if this is your first time working with Mod Podge glue, and you're wondering why it's so white and so pasty looking, don't worry about that because Mod Podge does actually dry clear. And make sure that when you do purchase your Mod Podge for a project like this, you want to get the one that says gloss. I've never used the matte one, but I'm pretty sure if you add the matte one on to the glitter, it won't have it as shiny. Um, it just wouldn't be good for this particular project. 
and I like to let this dry at least 20 to 30 minutes in between adding uh, the second layer okay and if you don't have that much time or you want to kind of speed up the process let it dry in front of a fan that's what I like to do I like to have it dry in front of a fan so it can just uh, really really be dry before I go adding a second coat I just really like this glitter it's so so pretty it kind of can look fuchsia a little bit but it's actually purple okay so this is what the two coats of glitter looks like you guys okay now I'm just taking my little brush to dust away the little excess glitter and I'm just gonna take my little picker just to show you where I went over on the label where I really didn't mean to so before it dries or even after it dries sometimes just take a little something sharp and go along the edge and just kind of clear it away just like so okay to be just one coat I can't even really see the label maybe because it's red it's nice and full I don't know but um, I'm gonna do a second coat anyway just because I always do so I'm still gonna do a second coat I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that the great thing about these bottles is they don't take a long time to do they really don't and you can do them in so many different colors uh, there's so many varieties of ways that you can do these Eventually, I'll try to maybe do an ombre one to kind of see how that turns out. I think that'll be fun. Then you could mix the different glitters together. You could do rhinestones, but this glitter, it's a lot quicker. It's fun. It's very, very vibrant. I just love the glitter bottles. Glitter. It has fully dried. It is the next day. It's very, very pretty. Now it's time to seal this. Now. Let me tell you what I use to seal um, my bottles. And this is optional, you don't have to use what I use. But I like to use Tri Art Liquid Glass. Um, I use this for multiple things, so that's why I have like a big um, two liter gallon of this. Um, well, I have a big two liter jug of this. This was $65, and you can get this from uh, dickblick.com that's where you can buy this it's it has a runny consistency so I can pour it in here and do it like how I did the Mod Podge but I don't I like to kind of just pour it on there you'll see how I do it again if you don't have this that's fine you can seal with Mod Podge you can seal yours with Mod Podge if you don't have the tri art in my opinion, my Podge makes things a little cloudy sometimes, especially if the temperature, I guess, is a little cold. It just has like a cloudiness to it. To avoid that, I suggest that you um, add a little bit of the glitter to your my Podge when you seal it. That may help. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so you see how I just kind of poured it on there and it's basically already running off the bottle. So you, I'm just kind of moving quickly. I just like to do it this way. I, I find it faster. And you see how it gives it that wet, glossy look? That's why I think it just works a lot better and has it looking nice and shiny to me. It, it maintains the shine um, the best to me. And I'm doing the same thing with the red bottle. Now, I didn't pour it on here and do it that way because the sponge brush kind of tears up a little bit with this chunky glitter because it's sharp. To dry, I decided that I'm going to add some rhinestones to this very top area right here. And these are Zircon, Zircon Blue. Um, a very, very almost identical color to the top of this bottle. This is a five millimeter a rhinestone and it's a jelly rhinestone. So I am going to, I just have this little piece of sandpaper. This is optional. I don't usually do this. I just wanted to just do it just to see. Get the surface a little rough, but it does kind of scratch off the paint. So it's optional. Sometimes I just try stuff just to see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna scuff it up a little bit. I don't want to take too much of the paint off. And this bottle is a full bottle of wine, so I'm not going to do anything to this area so the seal can be broken with no problem. Just going to take some alcohol 
wipe this area clean and apply the rhinestone. And of course, allow it to dry. What I'm going to be using is called Liquid Fusion. I'll have a link where you can purchase this glue. Um, I got it from Amazon for about 12. Adding the rhinestones is completely optional, but I just think it gives it another added level of glam to it. And these color combinations, the teal and the purple together are just so pretty. And of course, I added rhinestones to the other two bottles as well. And I think they look absolutely fabulous. These gold plated rhinestones are actually some of my very favorite rhinestones to use and I'm almost finished you guys. Okay you guys, here is the final finished result of the wine bottles and the tequila bottle in the middle. I think these are so lovely. I like to do um, the glitter, but I just really like when I add the rhinestones to the top area. It just makes it look extra cute, but you don't have to do that. Just glitter is fine as well. I've never added glitter to that top part. I may have to try that one day, just kind of see how, how that works out. But you guys, um, let me just see. I think my very favorite bottle is the gold. I love the gold. That purple is super shiny. I think that's like the shiniest one. And then the gold uh, chunky. The red is very, very pretty as well. So these are all three different glitters. And that's also something to think about because um, so it's fine, chunky, and then there's uh, just the regular glitter. But for some reason, that purple is really, really sparkly. The color combination, the purple, purple and the teal, I never even would have thought about those two colors being paired up together. But yeah, I really appreciate this, um, this project. These are actually going to be birthday gifts for um, my friend, friends and purple is one of their favorite colors and red is the other one favorite color and again like i told you the bottle in the middle i have something coming up for that so i thank you guys for watching this video i hope you did receive some cool ideas from it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up maybe share it on facebook if you'd like to and thank you guys for watching this video hello to my new subscribers hello to all of my subscribers and you can follow me on Instagram at Life is a Whole Vibe if you'd like to. I just started that um, Instagram for my channel. And thanks again, you guys. Bye bye. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will be alerted when I upload a new video. Bye bye. Check out our website, myroyalradiance.com, where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code ROYALBEAUTY10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters, available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V-I-B-E-S, for my subscribers. I just recently hit 11,000 subscribers, and I think that is like so exciting. Um, so hello to the new subbies. And then also, check out my playlist that I have here. You may find some other very interesting videos that may give you some cool gift ideas or um, just you may find them helpful. Thanks again, bye-bye.